All right, so in After Effects, all I did was import the audio file that we um, analyzed in step one, and of course, opened Lip Syncer. Lip Syncer consists of two parts. One is for the creation of template compositions and the other is for the actual animation. So if you see what we have here, you know, apart from the about and help buttons, you can create a template composition. You can choose if you want four, seven or 10 by seams. Four means lowest quality and 10 means highest. But I, I would call them a quality slash um, illustration amount selection. All right, so of course we want the highest quality for that one and just hit create. And as you can see, it almost instantly created a new composition called mouth comp one and it imported template images and aligned them along the time. Every one of them provides some short explanation on how to illustrate them. So you definitely want to, you know, look this over. So this template composition is ready to be animated. Now you have two choices. You can either replace the template images with your own illustrations now, or go ahead and animate first. I think it's better to animate first and then replace the, the um, mouth images. So let's do that. If I open the animate tab, you'll see that for you have, you have two dropdowns that you have to fill. First one is mouth source. Now mouth source are exactly those compositions like mouth comp one created in the first step. We only have one of those, so this is the only option we have. If I go ahead and created one with four, you could also choose those. Now, you can rename them. I just hit the refresh button, but don't um, duplicate them because if you duplicate them, Lip Syncer won't be able to recognize them. If, if you do want a duplicate of any composition, you just create a new one with the same amount of vice seams. So in that case, you know, it will be 10 and insert um, template images in there because then you will be able to select those in the, in the mouse source uh, dropdown. Okay. Okay, so the second tab obviously is about um, the audio file. Well, it has to have um, Premiere Pro analysis markers. We could do a ch quick check on that. Um, if you drag it on a new composition, it should have those those layer markers with with comments in them. So that's just a quick way to check if um, everything about the um, analysis worked. Let me just undo that. Also, um, you could just combine any number of um, mouth sources with audio footage files. As soon as I hit the animate button, you'll see that it actually analyzes the um, file again and creates your animation. Now this is an extremely long sequence of more than 10 and a half minutes. So I, you, can, you can imagine how, how much time it would cost. And compared to that, um, Lip Syncer, I don't know, finishes the task in about a minute or half a minute. Um, the shorter the sequence, the shorter the amount of time that it will take to analyze it. Okay, so I didn't cut the video and you'll see that the animation is just finished and we could play that back. The RAM preview actually takes longer than the animation. Okay, so now. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them, a decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. Okay, that's it for the animation. You could, if you haven't already, replace the template composition with your illustrations or maybe illustrate them now. And another thing to keep in mind is that 
If lip syncer finds any word that you couldn't parse, it would add. Oh, I can't find any. Any, it found everything. Well, also, this template comp or this default composition, um, the values of those are thirty frames per second and square pixels pixel aspect ratio. Now, if you have a project that differs from that, make sure to change those. Okay, um, that's about it for the demo. If you have any more questions, please um, don't hesitate to ask them just you know in the comments or wherever you want.